small little room. Three men. Say something. Three men. Go ahead. In a small room. <laughs> Waiting for, <laughs> for Gatto. Uh, has Nasir ever done Waiting for Godot? He has to have. Has he? Do you know, Do you know that? Uh, Nasir. Nasir and Shah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, done? he's, done. he's done? Yeah, yeah. He's done that, that is perfect. For he's done Waiting for Godot? He done yeah. Godot, he did Zoo Story. Uh, yeah. yeah. That, that, I, he, saw, I saw his... Uh, he does theater there all like, the time, very, right? He's very, yeah, he's very regular. Yeah. I would love to, whenever we go he's back to... He's brilliant on stage. Oh, I'm he's sure. He's so amazing on stage. I'm sure he he's is. He's brilliant in film. I can only imagine yeah, on stage what he's like, yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs> yeah, very much. I'm very glad you guys. I mean, you guys invited me and we met. Yes, me too. we we uh, for those who don't know, we we met uh, Vipin at the uh, Monkey Man premiere here in, in Hollywood. It was wonderful. The film was absolutely fantastic, and yeah. uh, he he was able to stay in Los Angeles for an extended period of time. So he was able to actually come into the studio and uh, talk to us. When we we're very happy uh, that we we're able to do that because we've seen. A lot. a lot of your work yep um, and for a long time obviously because um, you, you you're in so many films you're in so many uh, OTT series but first I want to talk about monkey man since that's what we just we just saw uh, how did you get involved with that project to start I acted in Hotel Mumbai mm -hmm. and uh, Anthony Marasso was directing that film and I met him he had almost cost the whole film Mm. But he, uh, he said there is a small part, but very interesting. I'd love you to do it. I thought of it and I thought, hey, uh, small is not a problem because I'm going to meet Dev Patel. Yeah. So that was my intention and I said yes and I went. And Dev and I spoke very briefly because it wasn't exactly a big scene between him and me. Uh, he just, I am the hotel lobby, uh, I'm the, uh, the, the manager at this hotel and he's just crossing the lobby asking me which floor. Is he okay. working today? All right. I just sign him, you know, fourth floor or something. That was it. But then after the shot or in between, we sat and I chatted with him a little bit. And then uh, I became friends friends with Joe Joman through uh, through that because uh, we they threw a party for us. And then Joe said, you know, we are starting a new film and we would love you to be a part of it. So I was very excited. Then Dave told me afterwards that when he saw the movie in London, Hotel Mumbai, he saw my scene and he uh, liked it quite a lot and he thought of me and when he was writing Monkey Man he thought of me while he was writing so this role in a way uh, kind of was written was very much for awesome. yeah, so yeah. I'm very honored that he thought of me as a girl actually and yeah <laughs> that, I read that I, just from one scene he could see an entire different personality uh, you know it's just it's, it's just the other side of me it's just the other 50% of me. Yeah. 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 No, I read the, the interview, I think it was Variety that you did, yeah. where you had mentioned that Dev's approach to the character had always been to think of Alpha, right? Is that the character? Yeah. Yes. To think of Alpha as female the whole yes. time. Everything yes. about that approach. So yes. it was the combination of both he envisioned you, yes. but he always was writing from the feminine perspective. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And had you ever played a character that was quite like this before? No, not really. You know, I used to say that in some of my interviews in India to and to my friends. Uh, you know, act, people ask actors, "What's your favorite role?" And usually, it's Hamlet or right. You know? <laughs> yeah. And I said, yeah. I want to be a girl because yeah. you know, for me, to play uh, to play female character is the ultimate challenge for a man because mm -hmm. you know, as a male, I can be a male gangster, a male doctor, a male engineer, male whatever. Yeah, will always be gonna. But to play a, you know something that you're not mm -hmm. biologically right. completely right that's another that's another uh, that's another realm that um, I always thought very excited about and I dreamt and I, I wished somebody would cast me like mm -hmm. that so Dave you know it was a dream come true that he yeah. thought of me for Alpha yeah and how much of for example I don't want to give too much away because I want people to watch your performance yes, yes 
but the film yeah yeah the film how um how much freedom did you have in creating alpha in terms of what you looked like even costuming anything else you did with jewelry or makeup or was that you just let the creative team do costuming and makeup and you just took what they gave you and used it i think it was a combination of all of all of that all of this what you're saying uh, right from the start i remember when i met dave for the audition it wasn't an audition because dave just met me and we just clicked mm. the second time when we met it just felt like i've known him for years he's known me for years mm -hmm. we were, we chatted like friends and we hardly chatted about the dialogues and lines and anything and he just sat with me and he said yeah great 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 <laughs> and uh, then you know we put something on tape uh, which also looked like just a formality because dave was already you know, sure that I am the yeah, one. Yeah, sure. Then I left the audition room, and generally you leave the auditions. People say, "Okay, thank you for coming." You know, we we'll let you know. And yeah, we'll let you know. Like, okay, you know, let me know now. Right. <laughs> but exactly the same thing happened. I had just come down from the studio, uh, and then I heard my name. Someone called me back and said, "Hey, they wants to chat with you." I went up, and they've said, "This is your role." I am not looking further. Looking any further, this is your own. Mm -hmm. You're doing this character, so that's how I got it. And then you know, I when I went to the shoot, I grew my nails, mm -hmm. polished them. I already had long hair because of the pandemic, and we kept everything. We did few readings, uh, Dave and I, and uh, you know, I just kind of stayed in that zone. Uh, you know, long hair, nail polished nails, and 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 I used to wear a. You know, underneath the sari, women have this undergarment called petticoat. Yes. So I wore that. Mm -hmm. I was roaming around in all that. I tried uh, the saris. Uh, mm -hmm. When the costume trial happened, we did a bit of a makeup trial. Uh, they didn't want to exaggerate the look lots. You know, it mm -hmm. was just as minimal and as subdued and subtle as possible. Right. And all that helped because it you know, did it kind of slowly put me into that. I don't. I kind of. I'm very. Uh, uh, the whole word method acting is is a very uh, it's not an easy uh, topic to kind of get yeah. into. Yeah. Yes, I wouldn't say I did that because that takes a lot of courage and a lot of uh, time. Yeah. yeah, a lot of time. A lot of time. Yeah, and uh, but yeah, these elements which could be considered a bit like like that, I tried it, and I think it was the first time I tried it. I never, I never done that before. Mm -hmm. so. I would imagine it helped everything from keeping your own nails long versus having fake nails put on. You know, it that, does. that helps your hands be feminine. It does. You know, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I uh, two incidents that come to my mind. I wore a part. I wore. I wore a sari in a party, uh, and then you know suddenly one the the this 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 thing the the mm -hmm. pallu it's called in Hindi the you know sari women put it back yeah. and then it fell. Mm. Because of the breeze or something, it fell, and I felt naked. Mm -hmm. I just, I, I just felt like, oh my god! And I, I kind of Raghu, the associate director, was standing right next to me. I said, Raghu, please, please, uh, give me, hand me the, hand me the pallu. So he gave it back to me, and I covered myself again. You know that sense of, of, of your, your being, your body, your personality. Uh, I, I have never experienced that before. Sure. That was something very special. And one day I broke my nail. My I, my nail were quite long actually, I broke it and I was so I felt so mad at myself. <laughs> I was like, why did I break my nail? Yeah. Because I had they they I had grown them so so nicely, so beautifully. Nice. Yeah, yeah. 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 Was, they looked nice, and then I realized, oh, girls, that's what girls yeah, go yeah, through yeah. when their yep. long nail breaks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I think I uh, heard. Uh, I think it was Shia LaBeouf say, "He's not method. He's method adjacent." Method adjacent. And I think that's where a lot of actors kind of fall into. And very few ever go Daniel Day Lewis. You know, very yeah, that, Christian. That's, that's really yeah. Time you need. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's, and I I love that. I wish I could get. I I my next dream would be that actually to be able to create a character through that process. Yes. And, you know, <clears throat> the um. The, the film in, in Indian cinema and Hollywood cinema, we've wanted to merge for a long time, a lot of collaborations. That's why we're one of the reasons, not only that we love the film, but because um, the it showcases a lot of really talented people from Indian cinema. Uh, Dev casted your, yourself, uh, Sorbita, and, and, and many others. Um, did, do you know if he, he did that intentionally? He wanted to showcase a lot of the talent from, from India? Yeah. Or was it just like these were the best people kind of thing? 
I think these all all of us fit very yeah, rightly in the film. Yeah, yeah. So I I guess that's what he did. Yeah. I mean, these are all Indian characters yeah. in a way. It's a it's a I you know I see the movie sometimes set somewhere in some place which could be India. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It has that. Uh, um, you you see the visuals and you you think ah it looks like India but maybe it's not India you mm -hmm. know that quality that it has plus these characters are very because they are all Indian characters so yeah. I guess yeah. that's probably what wanted to do yeah and you were part of the project you were one of the first people on board for Monkey Man who has seen all of the ups and downs from the pandemic to all of the different locations and whether or not distribution was going to happen and through that process my it's a two-part question what was that like for you and what was that like for dev because i remember him being really transparent at the premiere and talking about how part of this for him was for a lot of his life he was wondered if he was british enough and he wondered if he mm. was indian enough yeah so i just would love to know anything you can share about what the experience was like for how long that took for yourself and how much of that dev shared of his struggles mm -hmm. with the project well i i really saw dave up close very personally very uh, you know how passionately he was involved in the making of the film the film was supposed to be shot in india pandemic happened so everything just fell and right. we all thought okay this is it it's not gonna happen and then suddenly uh, this small island in indonesia popped up and i heard that we're going there so i was like okay cool which was good because you know uh, during the pandemic seven months i didn't step out of my house and i also didn't want to step out because i wanted to do this film i was like i'm not going out i'm not taking a chance i refused two three ads that were happening during that time under you know precautions and all that so I kept myself available and then I went to Indonesia. We were on, uh, it was a resort only booked for us. Nobody could enter. Oh, wow. We were testing twice every week and every test was like a nightmare because I, you know, everybody was like, oh, I hope it's scary. Scary. Yeah. Scary. yeah. Um, still there was that fear that, you know, and then Dave injured himself two, three times. And uh, so everything was like, you know, it was happening and, and yet suddenly something will happen. Like the very first day I reached there, I heard that, uh, so we, we, when we, every, all of us uh, uh, were, in a, were in a quarantine for 15 days before we stepped out. Right. And the DOP, the very first day was uh, found positive. So he was sent to a hospital, Sharon, and poor guy, he was like miserable. And he said, I don't have any symptoms. I don't think I have COVID. So he requested another test. Next day they tested him. He came negative. So he came out. <laughs> so, so it was a false it was positive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. I remember I was uh, standing at my balcony and somebody called and he said, you know, send everybody in, send everybody in because uh, there's a case, a COVID case in, right. in the resort. And like, everybody oh, panicked. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, it was mo it was those moments all the time. So right. it was always then after the film was being edited, it took almost three years to day finally uh, find uh, the, the, you know, that it became possible that the rest of the world will see the film. Mm. Um, you know, Jordan saw it, loved it, yeah. showed it to Universal. I think all this is now yeah. uh, everywhere in podcasts, yeah. this information. Yeah. So long struggle. But, you know, as we were chatting earlier, I never for once left uh, hope. I never thought, no, this film is not going to come out. I always knew it will happen. At yeah. some point, it's going to happen. I yeah. don't know why. I don't know yeah. why. But I was very sure that the film will come out. Yeah. I'm very and glad it did. Amazing that... I it mentioned this earlier, I want to bring it up now, that the cast didn't see the actual cut of the film until they went to the first premiere after so many years of yeah. everything because ADR was done at different times in different places, so they might see a snippet there if they did <laughs> ADR. <laughs> so uh, you've got to be happy with the final result. Oh, yeah, I, was, uh, I saw the screening in Austin. Yeah, in South by Southwest? Right? South by Southwest. Yeah. With all the Texan <laughs> yeah, passionate blood, the passionate blood. Uh, people were screaming with joy, crying, laughing, and yeah. standing ovation as soon as it finished. And they came on stage. Everybody just stood up, and it was a long standing ovation. And uh, it was a great experience to watch that film there. And I'm not a very big action and uh, blood and all kind of fan, mm -hmm. but you know, I I loved it, and I thought it was more of a celebration. Yeah. of that genre rather than uh, you know just kind of showing violence for its own sake yes that was brilliant actually i loved the film yeah i, I just loved it so do we so it, do it, it, yeah. 
it 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 exceeded expectations oh, yeah. for for us. You know, the last action film that I loved was John Wick Four, yeah, yeah, and the stunt that. work yeah. in that and cinematography just yeah. so for a film to come into the action world with yeah. a first time director. I mean, Dev's been around a long time, yeah. but as a director, uh, uh, yeah, I, I would imagine everybody's really proud of this. Yeah, film. Way, I think, yeah. 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 Did, had you noticed any differences in um, from going? F you've been been in a ton of Indian productions to a Hollywood production. Was there any difference at all? Yeah, there is. You, you know, there's a basic difference of the two worlds. Mm -hmm. India is more random, more uh, chaotic, mm -hmm. uh, more uh, kind of disorganized uh, mm -hmm. things. But in within all that, there is a very interesting uh, uh, element that everything works out. Uh, so you know we there when you're working you know you know that you have to work like that you know uh, things are sometimes not that streamlined mm -hmm. uh, sometimes things change all of a sudden yep. because there are so many uh, logistics involved sure yeah. on the other side I think working on a, on a film which is like Dave's film uh, I felt everything was streamlined everything was designed everything was fixed mm -hmm. uh, so there are I think this is this is basically a different of two different very different societies actually that's how things work in India that's yep. how things work in West yeah, yes. yeah. here Absolutely. the bus stop says the bus will come at you know yes. <laughs> eight, 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 eight twelve right right so come sometimes that may not be true but mostly yeah and India you could be standing at a bus stop and you know yeah I, I the bus can eight twelve. Bus can come at eight o'clock. <laughs> is that? I think that's why everybody has talked talked about Amitabh Bakshan being on time for so many years. Yeah, yes. <laughs> no, yeah, actually now now people have started now within last more than a decade now people have kind of I, I've noticed people come on time for meetings and things like that. I yeah. know earlier it was like oh god, oh, yeah, man. not gonna happen. Since you obviously uh, since you've been here, I'm sure you've heard a lot of people talk and. Um, obviously be are very interested in the film and wanting to see more of your work wanting to see more of work from India have you noticed that like more people because obviously I know uh, you've probably been asked about it RRR that's probably a lot of Indians a lot of Americans first exposure to India mm -hmm. and Indian cinema have you noticed more interest uh, in, in Indian cinema after after this film have people yeah, I, after this film, I'm sure there will there there should be more mm -hmm. more interest for sure because yeah. um, all my co-actors have done a great job and people will take notice of that. Plus, I think you know, the world is now getting smaller. Yes, thank because you. of so much uh, you know social media and uh, now today I can watch a movie if it's released in US today I can watch it in India. Uh, the web shows, the series. So you know, it's the 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 rate of exposure is very fast now. You know, we can we can see things all over the world at once. Yeah, uh, close yeah. to you know. So I, you know, to, I'm sure people will take notice of new mm -hmm. actors and actors from India and and and, and also you know uh, each art form grows. The cinema has grown. The acting has grown. In India, it has taken a while, you know. But it's grown. But oh, it's yeah. grown. Yeah, and you've you've acting. seen that. I mean, you've yeah. been oh, yeah. part of the industry for a, a yes. very long time. Yes. How, how long was it between when you finished at the National School of Drama? to when you worked on stars with Amir Khan how many years was that oh that was a long time long time actually because what happened was after uh, i finished my theater training i i stopped acting i quit acting you were I, editing right i became an editor yeah. uh, and uh, so there was a long gap and it was uh, thanks to meisner that i actually came back to acting Sanford Meisner. Yes. Oh, personally, did you encounter him personally? No, I almost did because uh, I studied with one of our very one of his very very close uh, student, Jacqueline McClintock. Who, yeah. Uh, taught in Toronto and mm -hmm. Montreal. So I studied with her, and after I studied Meisner, one day she looked at me. And she said, "Why did you quit acting?" Mm. I was like, oh. And uh, something clicked. I said, "Okay, I'm going going to go back to acting." So. I that's Glad you did. Track. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's wonderful. That is absolutely fantastic. Uh, on, um, like, I, I don't know the tarot. Yeah, <laughs> star, a star. We call it like stars on I Earth. Always we call it stars on star. Earth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Star on Earth, yeah. Uh, yeah. One, of my, one of my favorite films from yeah, India. We love that film. Um, one couple questions here on it because um, I'm sure you get do you get shout like if people shout at you on the street is it something from like stars yeah 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 actually <laughs> yesterday I was uh, walking down on Hollywood Street mm -hmm. uh, near uh, 
Dolby Theatre and all. And uh, somebody, this young boy crossed me uh, and he said, Oh, uh, Ishan Avasti from uh, 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 Ishan's father from Tari Zaminpur. And I just looked back and <laughs> there was this guy who was studying music here. That's awesome. And he turned around and he said, uh, I said, Oh, do you recognize me? He said, Yeah, 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 yeah I recognize you. And so, yeah. Uh, Sometimes kids in India, you know, kids, school going kids, mm -hmm. 10, 12 years old and all that. So they would be coming in front of me from, if it's a street, they are walking towards me and I'm walking towards them. As we cross, they go on the other side and they say, they, they start singing. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great. Um, and what, what uh, I'm sure you've been asked about a billion, t billion times, but what was it like working on that with Amir and, 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 and that whole process? Well, you know, that was a dream come true uh, in a very cliche sense mm -hmm. uh, because I went back to acting after a long gap. I was kind of hoping, you know, I'll get some roles, some couple of scenes here, couple of scenes there. Just be a working you actor. You know, I will yeah. I'll start working. Sure. That's what my whole agenda was. And suddenly, uh, one day, I still remember very vividly, I was standing outside this house we were shooting. There was these big lights and I was standing there and I saw Amir Khan inside uh, setting up the camera and everything and I just realized oh my god I just came here to start my acting career and here I am standing with uh, uh, you know one of the top notch yeah. Bollywood stars yeah I just couldn't believe it so that itself was quite 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 a blessing actually yeah. and I I've read and it's not a surprise that a lot changed for you and your acting career after that film. Oh, yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. A lot changed in a good way and yeah. also in a very challenging way because sometimes what happens in India that if you do a role, then you get uh, stereotyped, then you get yeah. Uh, yeah. typecast, then right. you fight. So I fought a long time for that because everybody kind of wanted to repeat wanted me to repeat it and yeah. I was no I don't want to you know yeah most actors don't no, no nobody wants to do this I know once once somebody called me and said you know it's the same role as in Tare Zameen Par exactly same. <laughs> thanks for so the I challenge said, yeah, why exactly. would I want to do that, that? I'm like, why would I do that I did it yeah. I've done that yeah so <laughs> that also became a bit of a struggle for me but I'm glad that I stuck to my guns and I stuck to my ideas of what I wanted to do and mm -hmm. I'm glad that I did varied roles post that mm. but yeah it's been a bit of a struggle also yeah. sure yeah. sure how do you as an um actor balance the um choices that you make of certain things that will stimulate you artistically mm -hmm. to doing more commercial stuff that would obviously more financially help you out yeah. obviously i think it was nasir or or was it ian mckellen no That's, it's that, nasir is it he says yeah. i do these films so i can do these other films that yes, i actually yes, want to do right. how do you balance that as an as an artist uh yeah i, I i've had a uh, few opportunities come my way like that mm -hmm. that allowed me to make some money here and do yeah. the cinema that I want to do, mm -hmm. uh, you know, I just make sure that if I say yes, then I'm wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly in it. Mm -hmm. I am not, I make sure that I'm not in it because I'm getting a big chunk of money. Mm -hmm. I know I'm doing primarily because of that, because that will help me. But yeah. I also know that uh, um, apart from the money, I have a bigger commitment to my career also. Yeah. So whenever I've tried to do something mainstream, I've made sure that I am in it fully. I, I, I do it with hundred percent commitment yeah and that, I think that's where the challenge lies when you don't want to do a certain kind of cinema or certain kind of film but if you do it for some reason or any reason then make sure that you are hundred percent there you are you gave your entire being to it so yeah that's the challenge actually I yeah think. did you find that today especially after say a role like you've just done in monkey man are you, and it also comes with age, I have found, that the older that you get as an actor, the roles you get to select are, are a bit more diverse and a bit uh, more, not as stereotypical. So have you found at the, this, this part of your career, you're getting a broader choice of the kinds of roles to play versus back when you were first starting? Uh, yes and no. You know, some people, uh, it really depends on makers at times. Mm -hmm. If they see, they, can they see you in something very different? Yeah. That's what I, I, I'm very grateful to Dave that he saw me in something very different. Mm -hmm. And that really depends at times on other factors. How filmmakers, how do they see you? How do they, do they want you to do something new and exciting? Plus, by saying no, you're also setting up 
you are also signaling other people i'm not interested in right. this kind of casting i'm interested in this kind of role so yeah it's a battle between you and the and the industry in a way actually and i guess you have to make sure that you keep keep putting out, putting yourself out like that you know right, i don't right. want to do this i want to do this and after a point i think industry people also know the various directors also know that oh you, he's not interested in something like that so. sure yeah, yeah eventually if everybody gets to know yeah. that's not something yeah. that they're yeah. interested to in to reach that point is 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 a bit of a struggle for all of us yeah it doesn't surprise me even though you never did a role like alpha before but because dev is obviously a very good director now but because dev's an actor mm, i think yeah. any actor who watches you work knows the range you have mm -hmm. and that a role like this is it doesn't surprise me that dev would think of you because from we haven't seen your whole filmography mm, but no. we've seen a lot of your work mm -hmm. and you're always good yes there's any time we see you're in something we're excited because we know that the work you're going to bring is always really good yeah and have you found a difference working with say a dev patel who is a director but also an actor mm. and the way that they're able to see you in roles and direct you in roles versus non-acting directors or there's really not that much of a difference a mm, couple of people come to my mind in india anurag kashyap is yes. one he's yeah. always seen me um, he's always mostly offered me things that are challenging sudhir mishra is another indian filmmaker mm -hmm. who always tries to put me in a very interesting way like after tarez minkar he was the first director who actually cast me in a very funny gangster character who tries to speak english <laughs> which was also very uh, intriguing that how did he see me in that so right how did he see know, you in some a funny yeah, role yeah. yeah what film was, huh? what film was it this was called ye sali zindagi oh this bloody life oh, yes. okay. roughly translated gotcha okay so i had a very funny funny character yeah. tony it was his name tony he likes speaking <laughs> yeah. english he's a gangster <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yes, so you've worked with a, a lot of legends of the industry, um, Anurag's, Irfan's, uh, Nawaz, Manoj, uh, tons of people. Um, yeah. Uh, do you, because uh, we consider all those people thespians and, and um, just the best at what they do, do you seek out one those collaborations of like these actors are attached, these directors are attached, or is it more of the fact that you all are just attracted to more intriguing projects and that's why you kind of all work together? Uh both i guess both yeah, yeah, both. yeah. sometimes i if i uh, when i see uh, like one film i recently did nawaz and anurag both were in it hadi right hadi yeah. yeah and i was uh, i was immediately yeah I'd love to do this film because i hadn't met anurag in 2 3 years mm -hmm. at that point so i thought it gives me an opportunity to meet him because i i consider him a great friend so you know i said yes to that film yeah, and I bet and Nawaz is a very, very dear friend. I often meet him, and yeah, and they're both. We chat a lot. So Nawaz and I, whenever we meet, we like our chats are long and about acting and about film industry and the problems and good things and bad things. You know, we discuss quite a lot. He was our he was our first interview in, in Mumbai. India. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow. we went to his I office. Did, 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 Not our first interview yeah. ever. Our first interview ever. He knows. Oh, you do. Yeah, okay. I told him. Is uh, uh, Ustaji. Ustaji. Yeah. Photograph and send it to him. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll send it to to Nawaz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I would imagine, like, for example, if uh, there's some artists and people that you have a relationship with, if they just, you wouldn't even need to read the script to hear the story. You just trust who they are. Yeah, and if they yeah. said, I have a project and I'd like you to be involved, you say, yes. Yeah, because you know there is a certain um, kind of uh, quality attached to it now. And there's a certain kind of integrity of all these people attached. That right. means, uh, yeah, it becomes easy that way. Yeah. yeah. And do you have, and I know you talked about uh, Meisner, um, do you have an acting philosophy at all? A broad know, question. Oh, yeah. yeah, I know. It's a very interesting question. It's, 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 you know, I sometimes feel acting is like God. Mm -hmm. Like, if you want to know God, you got to know every religion in a way. Mm -hmm. You got to understand Islam, you got to understand Christianity, Buddhism, Hinduism. Uh, atheism you got to yeah. understand everything to understand god mm -hmm. and you take everything that's beautiful about all these religions so that you can connect with that ultimate power or whatever you call it 
I find acting exactly the same way. You mm. know, you pick things from here and sure. there and Meisner, Stanislavski, yeah, Stella Adler, Udo Hagen. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. just what the things that resonate with you. Exactly. That, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Whatever resonates with you, then it it will enrich you and it will allow you to explore uh, a better territory of acting in a way. You know. Yeah. I try to do that actually. I read. Uh, you know, uh, once I read about an actor, he said he loves to listen to a particular type of music during when he's shooting one mm -hmm. film. Sure. Yeah. So you know, I tried that, and so you know, like whatever helps. Yeah. Wherever right. you can get, uh, because you're helpless when you're acting. <laughs> yes, hundred <laughs> percent. You're very helpless. <laughs> yeah. Nobody is there to help you. Not <laughs> even the director. Yeah. Because nobody knows what's going on in your head. Right. It's you and your being in your head and your own. Set of problems. Yes. You know? <laughs> are there are there characters? Because I I've experienced this as an actor. There's some characters that I was fine and I did them and left. But then there's other characters that I did, and I miss them very much. And I wish I could do those characters yeah. again. Do you have any characters like that for you? Uh you know I wish that... I could do Tarzan again. Actually, yeah, yeah. I yeah. wish because that was my first film. I was very nervous. I was not very uh, not in the flow. As I, you know, uh, not not in my. I, I wish I, I I wish I could do it again. Actually, mm -hmm. I know I will present. do a lot of things. Yeah, I yeah. was a bit kind of stiff, bit nervous, bit understand because first opportunity and sure. first very big opportunity, sure. and that too with a very big star with a very big uh, production house. Yeah, a lot of things I didn't understand. Yeah, and how about Alpha? Do you miss Alpha at all? Oh, I wish uh, I could you know uh, go back and. Create more of Alpha. Yeah, you know, I hope you know if the sequel is made. I hope so too. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be, be one. It'll be fun to explore more this time. Yeah. Do you do you enjoy watching yourself at all, or do you hate it? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> some Depends moments, on the project. You no, know, sometimes yeah. some moments you're like, ah, I wish I was, I hadn't done that, or I wish I was more convincing, or I wish I I had felt more something. Yeah. But sometimes you, I don't mind loving myself also. Actually, mm -hmm. I'm a bit yeah. of a narcissistic person. Yeah. But there are times. <laughs> yeah. Is it wonderful? Because you have to, you know. You yeah. have to observe. observe. You will never. Uh, and you have to love your character. Oh yeah. So if you. If you love your character and you see yourself on screen, and mind you, I'm not looking at myself at that time. Right. No. I'm looking at the character I, right. I played. It is me. Right. So loving it is also important. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So but, I do both. You know. Sometimes yeah. you get very. Oh, I wish I had done that. Yeah, yeah. because often it sometimes who you think the character is inside your head, mm -hmm. you then see the character that's been captured on film, and yeah. sometimes you go, oh. That's not what I was That's trying to do. That's not what I was trying. <laughs> but then there's times you can see it and go, "Oh my goodness, it worked." Yeah, you know there was a scene in Tarzan Zameen par when I'm watching the uh, match between my kid and the other kid yeah. mm -hmm. where he's losing and I'm very frustrated. When I was shooting that, I'm like, "Yeah, you know, I'm just seeing here, okay, this is, you know, it's okay. No big deal." But when I saw it on screen, that's my favorite scene in the film actually, more mm -hmm. than any other scene. Uh and it's very strange how it works because often you think you're looking like see the, we can't see ourselves right so you have this idea this is how i'm looking right now but when it comes on screen your idea and that picture may not yep. align or how they edited it, it, it or happens how they, how they edited it yeah, yeah. like the, the play i was telling you that i'm doing we finished the show the other night and this actress her name is marie she said man i just act one scene one didn't feel very good and we all said yeah, no, no it did feel very and the audience was so really yeah, yeah exactly <laughs> right exactly. yeah it's, it's shocking sometimes. yeah um what artist that you've worked with do you feel like you've learned the most from filmmaker actor doesn't matter yeah any either any, anyone? Yeah. yeah of course dave is going to be a very big influence on me uh, because I really learned a lot from watching him, how committed he was to this film, on the shoot, in post-production, otherwise also how he is with everyone on the sets, how he uh, is compassionate and really loves everyone around and how he's understanding of each and everything that goes on. Uh, then I was very lucky I worked with Tarsem Singh uh, just before him, uh, after Dave's film. He's made a film called Dear Jesse, which is uh, which won Best Film in Toronto, Best Film. Dear Jesse, right? Dear Jesse, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Best Film in Toronto, Best Film Red Sea, or I think an audience award somewhere. Uh, working with him was also absolutely brilliant. I've never seen a filmmaker who never sits. Mm. He's constantly moving around and he's constantly thinking of the scene. He's constantly thinking of the movie. 
he's constantly coming to you as an actor. I mean, he would call, call, he would come to me suddenly and say, you know, try this thing, this. Then you go, yeah, this works. Then he'll go away. Then he'll come back again and say, you know, maybe, maybe add something in front. And mm -hmm. you know, so he's listening to the whole film like a like a like a musician, like, mm -hmm. a, and he's also building it uh, bit by bit, uh, you know, mm -hmm. second by second. I never had that experience before, mm -hmm. actually. So I'm hoping that I'm able to use, you know, all these elements into my work also as a filmmaker when yeah. I make mm -hmm. a film. Lesson, and that was a thought I wanted to know is I don't know how much you can share about what you're currently doing or some future things but there, you do more than I mean obviously people may not even know you were once an editor mm -hmm. they obviously know you as an actor but you're also a writer and a director well I am working on a I am pretty much ready to direct a film yeah uh, so my film is uh, on this philosophy uh, called uh, non-dualism Advaitvaad it's called in Hindi uh, I love that philosophy which says that in essence we are all one Everything on this planet, in essence, is one. Mm -hmm. We just come from one source. We don't know where we come from. We, we don't know where we were when we were born. We won't know where we're going to go when we die. So this in-between, we cling to so many ideas about ourselves. What are those ideas? And I'm seeing, the script is seen, this whole idea is seen through a perspective of a guy who thinks he's an actor, but he's not an actor. So this whole idea of identity is seen through his eyes. So mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. finished the script and I will hopefully start working on it very soon. And how was that experience as a, I believe, first time director, correct? I've done direction, uh, smaller things, you know, but this will be the first. Feature. How was that uh, experience for you? I love it. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I say directing is very addictive mm -hmm. because it, oh, yeah. uh, it, it allows you to look at the complete picture and then build piece by piece and you know everything and you have this kind of idea of this whole universe I think it is it's a bigger addiction I, yeah. I agree <laughs> was it inspiring to, I assume to see all that Dev had to overcome and still finish his project very inspiring yeah very inspiring and you know he never complained about it he never made it oh look you know this yeah. happened he was like just just there all the time he was yeah. laughing when he flew to in a chopper to uh, Jakarta to get this nail in his finger bone, you know, he broke it and he came back and I was like, okay, he, I, now I'm watch, watching the interviews and I'm going like, oh, <laughs> you know, he never right. talked about these things. He yeah. just, he kept doing his work. He just mm -hmm. kept focusing on the film. That's that was, awesome. Well, I want to thank you so much for, for sitting down with very, us. Very, very much. It's, uh, it was lovely that we, one, we got to meet you, and then uh, uh, sit down with you uh, is, is absolutely a pleasure. I want to finish it off with a little bit of rapid fire, though. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just some quick, quick questions. <laughs> they're dumb. Yeah. They're, don't, they're just silly questions. They're just they're silly questions. Nothing, nothing serious. Nothing serious. <laughs> <laughs> Coffee or chai? Coffee. Mm. Uh, favorite breakfast food? I don't, break, I don't, take, I don't do breakfast now. What? I do intermittent fasting, so... And I've never been a very breakfast guy for a long, a lot like, long time. Yeah, a lot like me. I will uh, eat breakfast more because I, I have to, but uh, I'm never hungry in the morning. Yeah, me too. I that like takes black several hours. Me yeah, too. Black yeah, coffee, yeah. and then talk to me in three hours. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you both are weird. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast is like the best meal of the yeah, day. That, no. means you, that means you do dinner also? Then? Uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah. yeah no. I, eat, I eat all the meals. <laughs> but I eat, I, I eat one big meal somewhere. Oh, After, really? If I don't, I mean, I don't eat breakfast, so mm -hmm. I make sure that there's one good, good substantial. Yeah. yeah. Substantial. Um, uh, favorite uh, American food that you've tried? You know, uh, have you tried hot dogs? It? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know, Man I've after been, my own I've heart. Been, I've been missing it. I've not had one. Please, so tell me where to go. I can, I can tell you a couple places. places. <laughs> I can tell I you a couple places. Pinks. I, right? I love. I, you know, I love. Loading your hot dog with all the go to pink yes. condiments. There's a hot dog called Pink's. Pink's, Pink's okay. Pink's hot dog. Very famous hot dog Very place here in LA. Place. Pink's. Uh, uh, next question. It's kind of related. Is hot dog a sandwich? Hot dog only. No, no. Is hot dog yeah. is is it, is a, it sandwich? a sandwich? Is it a sandwich? Is it? It's a, a debate. It's an internet debate. No, I think hot dog. Hot I dog agree. Is hot dog and all okay, but entirety. but but what's a sandwich? <laughs> A sandwich is sandwich two is pieces of bread. Sandwich, sandwich which doesn't have a hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best All answer. Right, there you go. There a you sandwich go. is anything that doesn't have the hot dog. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I think this sandwich will do it. 
The yeah. sandwich you unless it's a hot dog. The debate has just been ended by Mip and Sharma. Another one is uh, is cereal soup. No. Cereal and soup together? No, I'm no. saying <laughs> it, is it? Is, is cereal, cereal soup? soup. What, it, what is soup? Soup is not a cereal. Cereal is not a soup. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> It's internet de- internet yeah, no. debate. People who want cereal to be soup are cereal well, lovers who want it. It's technically a soup. It's stuff inside liquid. So you talking like that? I thought maybe it's like if you can, uh, if, if you if you, um, it's soup is more of a meal. Thank you. Me. Yes. C- cereal and is a good cereal breakfast. Cereal we breakfast don't eat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this all goes back to that. <laughs> uh, favorite comfort movie. Favorite comfort movie. Yeah. Oh. That's yeah, it's a rainy day, and you want to feel good and watch a movie. Uh, Any movie. You know, it depends on my remote control. <laughs> <laughs> and just name name some that you'd, you'd, you'd watch. Singing in the Rain. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I love that movie. Yes. I love that movie, too. That's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. film. Um, favorite uh, Indian movie? You know, my favorite Indian movie is a movie called Garam Hawa. Mm. Hot wind. It's roughly translated. So it's set in the uh, independence area when India and Pakistan were being divided. Is it Hindi? Uh, it's in India. Yeah. Hindi. It's, yeah, it's one of the most beautiful films I've seen. If you when did it, it come out? It came out nineteen seventy somewhere. There. Who's in it? Balraj Sani, very uh, well-known uh, actor who okay. did a lot of theater also. Mm. What's it called again? Garam Hawa. Okay. Like I, you know who knows it? I'll, like I'll, my I'll, wife. I like, will. I will send it. Like to carrot you. Halwa. And, and actually, like carrot uh, halwa. Another brilliant filmmaker. Sorry. Carrot halwa. Carrot. <laughs> carrot halwa. <laughs> no, it's another. Not. I know you. You. You probably. It's your lunch time now, bro. <laughs> because you, your breakfast is finished. <laughs> no, <laughs> the food. Nothing but food. You know another brilliant filmmaker that your wife would know is from Kolkata. Ritwik Ghatak. Oh you, yes, I know he's that. In a, he's another amazing filmmaker that uh, I really admire a lot. And I've seen a few of his films. Satyajit Ray is more known in the West, yeah, not right. him. I, yeah. I mean, people know him. I'm not saying he's not. He's completely unknown. But he's another brilliant filmmaker. He, I completely he, admire his films. He did, um, he did. He did one about the partition, right? Ritwik. Ritwik. Ghatak. Partition. He was part of Bangladesh partition. Mm. Was part I of thought he did. Film. Yeah. I know we've seen a few, a couple of yeah. his films. Um, favorite Hollywood actor. Right now, any, uh, Mur- whenever. Mr. Mr. Murphy. <laughs> Which one? Oppenheimer. Killian. Oh, Killian. Yeah, he's so brilliant. In that. Oh, he's so I good. Was... He is so good. Have you seen his work in Peaky Blinders? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's that's the first one. Yeah. Favorite TV show? Uh, Seinfeld. Oh, wow. In this part of the world, I'm a yeah. huge fan of science. Huge. Well, that is often something that's on as just white noise for us to fall asleep to is Seinfeld. Yeah. 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 Mine's The Office. Yeah. In Parks and Recreation. Yeah. Uh, and a favorite book? You know, my favorite book right now is Autobiography of a Yogi. Mm. It's mm. a brilliant book on all the questions anyone can have about God, religion, who are we. Mm. All that questions are answered in that. It has a beautiful description of uh, Adam and Eve's story also in a very different way that we have been reading. Mm. And it's an eye opener. It teaches you a lot about meditation and uh, a lot about you know these questions, survival questions or who we are questions. It's a brilliant book. Mm. It's uh, so I've been lucky to kind of been reading it now. Yeah, put that one down. Yeah, so. It's an incredible book. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with us, man. We um, it was it was a pleasure to be, get the opportunity to uh, to one not only obviously see you in Monkey Man, um, but to be able to meet you there and then obviously you, you come over here because we've seen you, you're one of those actors that uh, a lot of people don't realize how many of your movies that we you've seen yeah. of course because you're like you're, you're supporting your all shows. this you're supporting all this yeah. and you're always so so good um, and so we've admired your work for a long time uh, but uh, I want to thank you for sitting down with us thank you for, for sharing your work with the world not only in India but obviously now coming over to Hollywood yeah. and I hope we get to see a lot more of those type of collaborations uh, together uh, but uh, Rick yeah and the one thing that is a common theme with every interview that we have had with artists from India mm-hmm. the common theme is not just the fact that the caliber of the talent is so high but the quality of the character of the people is so high and 
with each conversation, we finish an interview and Corbin and I will talk privately and go, he doesn't well, eat breakfast. That was, <laughs> we'll, we'll say, well, that was, that was unbelievable. And, and you're, you're just, it's very obvious by the way you, how you answer questions, like the book you read, the way you go about your choices, that the quality of who you are as an artist comes very much from the quality of who you are as a person and even just the short amount of time we've been able to spend with you. So thank you for allowing us and for everybody who's here to just see a side of you and, and hear about your process and hear your personal life. And please keep anything you want us to be aware of that you are doing. We're fans and we want to promote it and uh, we want to see everything you're doing. So always let us know. Thank you so much. Of course, you're of course, of course. Of course. Of course. I mean, I'm so happy and really thankful to you guys that you guys are doing this for so-called Bollywood in a way. You know, Indeed. people sometimes debate over the world. So yeah, of course. That's of course. brilliant that uh, all the way here you are actually showing such great interest not only in the films, Indian films, and also meeting people and doing this podcast for Indian on Indian cinema. This is brilliant. I mean, uh, we get so much inspiration from Hollywood in India. I have no qualms about saying it mm -hmm. uh, you know some of the best actors in the world come from this side of the world you know I, as we were speaking there are a lot of great actors in other parts of the world also mm -hmm. so it's great that you are you know introducing us to the rest of the world yeah so i thank you for that awesome. actually and really it's and an honor to be here oh thank you. thank you thank it, you it's a, as, as i told you before it's um we do it because we love indian cinema and love indian artistry and, and it's good. The more we could, yeah. The, if it was bad, we wouldn't be we doing wouldn't it. Talk about it. We wouldn't talk about it. We don't. Yeah. We're not. We don't. We're never gonna go to a premiere, see a film, yeah, guys, and not like it. You know, if, if we don't like the film, we're not gonna say go see this yeah, great. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> you can't do that. So thank you. Yeah, we we love we love India and Indian cinema. So. Except for Bollywood, we are the Bollywood bootlickers. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Karan Johar. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we know. Well, of course, him. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for coming on, yeah, man. It was a pleasure. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you.